Hi there. Well, we have a TiVo Edge on the bench today from my friend Kate who bought this new about five months ago and never got it to work. Didn't tell me what, you know, the problem was. And then she finally gave it to me. She said, I'm done. Uh, you know, you fix it. And, you know, if you wind up selling it, I'd like, <laughs> like half the money. Uh, I said, well, if I, you know, I fix it, I, I might actually use the darn thing. Uh, so, um, uh, plugged it in, put a cable card, everything in it. And it, um, Got up to the uh, starting up screen, starting up screen, starting up screen went away. Then it played the kettle drum of death and it just went into kind of a, a loop playing the kettle drum of death every 20 seconds or so uh, over and over and over again. So here you can take a look at this, you know, and it was made in May of 2021. Put in a technical um, uh, a bug report to uh, TiVo on their website, got back a canned response that was completely non-responsive and idiotic, so I called them just now, and uh, the gal was, was actually very helpful, made me plug it in with everything disconnected, and I know from some threads on Reddit and whatnot that people have uh, been able to make these things boot by um, disconnecting the Wi-Fi, um, and she had me take off the, take, you know, not have a cable card, not have a coax connected and just plug it in and put the HDMI cable in. And it did the, it did the same thing. And, you know, the hard drive's hosed, probably. It could be a power supply, but I'm assuming the hard drive's hosed. There's a two and a half inch laptop drive in here. And if you look elsewhere on YouTube, you'll see their weak knees has videos on how to open this, which I'm going to do. So, uh, uh, so would they replace the thing? They said, no, well, you don't have service on it. I said, well, <laughs> I'm not going to activate service on it if it doesn't work. But if it works, I might move my service from my Romeo to, to the edge, you know. And uh, uh, But she seemed uh, nonplussed. She offered to connect me to marketing to, you know, get a like a TiVo promotional special, get a, get a new one. So it's like, well, let's screw that. So I'm going to uh, open this up, get into the little hard drive. I think what I'll first do first is take it over to the PC and try to erase it and stick it back in here and see if that works. Uh, otherwise, then we got to try to source a replacement drive, which is going to be hard because um, they use a Seagate Video OEM drive in these things that's um, not widely available, although other alternatives and some older um, um, versions will uh, work. So first we got to feel for the screw holes and cut our way in. And where's the other one? Got that one. There you are, right there. And we'll speed this up so you're not bored to tears with another hand video. Uh, well, it turns out this is a security bit, which I guess the weak knees video did mention I wasn't paying attention to, and they had a specialty tool to open it. I've got a bunch of iFixit uh, bits here, but um, I don't think a regular socket's going to do it here. And Let's see what's the biggest one I have. It's like this. Yeah, it's too small. So let me um, let me turn the video off here while I figure out what the heck I can use to open this thing. So regular sockets aren't going to work, of course, by design. Um, it's kind of a, a star. It's a knurled shape. It needs something to go into it. Uh, let's see what I got in my security bits. So a couple of minutes on Mr. Internet reveals that these are video game specific security screws, um, sometimes called game bit screws. Uh, these are 4.5 millimeter game bit screws. Um, there's also a company on Amazon called VGM for Video Game Museum that sells a uh, driver for them. You know, it's 10 bucks for a 4.5 and a 3.5 millimeter um, dry, screwdriver. Uh, but I rather get into this and not and open it right away. So another person on Reddit uh, took one of these GRK deck screws um, that had a uh, Torx 30 um, drive on it and he ground down the outside edge of this and then stuck it in here to turn this thing because it's kind of like an inverted Torx 30 and he um, drove drove the screw part into a piece of wood to use as a handle and then he could unscrew the, the whole um, screw. Um, and that's what I wanted to do. I thought it'd be a great YouTube video, but uh, the unfortunate part of it is that I only have, this is the biggest uh, deck screw I have and it only goes up to a T25, so I don't have any T30. So I guess I'm going to order the uh, game bit driver off of Amazon uh, for, you know, eight, nine, ten bucks and uh, attack this again in uh, a day and a half. So it's not a couple of days later, it's about two and a half weeks later because I ordered these and Amazon lost it and then we went on a vacation up to Washington and Oregon and we just got back. So I ordered this again and it looked like they had lost the order again in transit, uh, but these actually finally uh, showed up a, a day late. So here they are, I haven't even opened this. Um, let 
tear into the Ziploc. <clears throat> oh, come on. And it was supposed to be the big one, the 4.5. So let's see if this will actually work. Oh, yeah. Well, it's not, it's not that... It's turning it, but I have to put pressure on it. It's not to, it's not that great a grip, but it does work. So nice to have these in the toolbox for the future. Let's get in there. I have a new camera too. I don't know if it looks um, particularly better. It's kind of shiny, isn't it? I don't think these are really magnetized. I might magnetize them up. Although it, the other one did grab good. I'd like to lift you out. Well, it's loose. But anyway, I can show you. Actually, with a new camera, I'd be able to zoom in really close too. Let's see. So that's what it looks like. All right, turn this upside down so we can get it to fall out. Boy. Let me grab the magnet. Boy. It's loose. Well, let's just ignore that and assume it's going to fall out. Let me, um, so there are clips around here we got to pry away, I am told. I have a little plastic splooger here. in the back but let's keep working on it sideways here so it doesn't go back together let's get this side there. There we go. What's going on in the, in the back here, but you see it's kind of coming up. Let's see if we can slide it off. Okay, and so there were two little hooks in the back, but we didn't break anything, but I was using a fair amount of force. Um, if you don't have one of these, maybe a, a credit card uh, would work. But now finally we're in here with the big shield over everything for RF and security, I guess. And well, we got, got some, uh, looks like antennas for Wi-Fi. Anyway, we want to go in here. Let me um, get a little closer. Now for this, we want to take maybe some uh, needle nose and straighten, straighten these out so we can get into the drive cage. Because this is where the hard disk is. Okay. 
Okay. I think we're pretty good there. Looks like maybe this will just come off. Let's see what. Oh, yeah. We just lift it. The, sc the screws don't go through it. Um, get a little leverage on this side because it's hard to get your fingers in there. But it's coming up. And there she is. Dun, 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 dun. So now we'll use the screwdriver to get this out of the out of the mount. Man, that is screwed in tight. Let me get a bigger driver. Okay, we're not messing around now. And why you not? Guess I should have paid more attention to uh, Weak Knees video, huh? Let's see. Can I get in here with this thing? Well, I guess I'm gonna lift the whole the whole tray up, and probably can take out this. Hang on, let me get my head in here. Ugh. Can probably take out the eSATA cable. Oh, well, that's not a cable. It's just a socket. Okay. Well, that's easy. So let's. Uh, I'll undo this and this and this. And that should let me lift this up. Well, it's still held down. Is there a screw in the back? You can probably see better than I can. Yeah. off the eSATA and I think I fix it actually did <laughs> loosen the whole tray and then take these out but now I can get these out pretty easy he said famous last words maybe there we go. come on yeah. air really torqued yeah uh, and actually, I don't have to take the drive out of the carrier to test it, I don't think. I think, well, it's good to have more room around the eSATA socket, so. So I'm going to take this little guy over to the PC now and put it on a USB um, drive cable. And uh, we'll see if we can actually uh, talk to it and maybe uh, reformat it and see how that goes. Uh, let me stick this here. Give you a nice close-up of the of the writing on the drive. Can you put a larger drive in? Sure. Um, these format them supposedly. Uh, when you stick a blank drive in. Uh, the problem is getting something greater than two terabytes in this two and a half inch form factor. Uh, so the way Weak Knee solves it is putting a cable in here that goes out to the back and then sticking it in an external. Sorry, I had this down. <laughs> the way Weak Knee solves it is by putting a, a cable in here that goes out the back and then you put the drive outside the, the case, which is kind of clunky. Anyway, let's go over to the PC. So this black box here is just a dirt cheap uh, hard disk interface to USB. This USB cable here goes to my computer and it has IDE and, and has eSAT on this side and I plug the drive from the edge into it and, um, and it really is just junk, comes in a, like a generic box like that. So and it doesn't, doesn't cost much money and this is USB 3. Anyway, we'll turn this on and this is on a Mac Pro from 2013 so we'll see if it uh, comes up in disk utility. And here we are, and yes, the Seagate is listed and it is showing up as an uninitialized drive. Um, I could initialize it here on the Mac, but the Mac cannot initialize using Linux file systems natively. So uh, I've installed uh, Linux command line tools using uh, Homebrew, and if you want to see how all that works, you should check out my video on the, um, the Zidu Media Player, where I go through the whole process of formatting a drive with uh, uh, Unix file systems on the 
on the Mac, and I even describe what file systems are a little bit. So I'm going to switch to command line now and try to format this disk. My guess is it's not going to format, and that's why the um, uh, Edge was having problems, but let's, but let's uh, see. So I've used disk utility on the command line and gave it the list option to find out that our um, edge disk is disk six and we're going to format slice zero. That's the S zero. And then this is, uh, I'm doing this as super user. That's the super user do. And then this is the program that is going to format the disk with the uh, ext4 Linux file system. Uh, again, uh, in my Zito video, I go through this step by step. So, uh, and if you have a Windows machine, you can just click a box, I understand, and, and format. So let's see how this actually goes. I have no idea how this is going to come out. And it wants my super user password. Ooh. Let's just try disk six then. Uh, there we go. Well, heck, he thinks he formatted it. So, uh, <laughs> let's take this back to the edge and see if it'll actually boot now. So the edge is on the bench here and I've just stuck the drive into the slot and propped it up with the HDMI uh, plastic cover so we can test here. And this is my testing lash up. You may remember from the video on the Zito media player, um, which is my <laughs> kitchen chair with a cheap uh, monitor my, my daughter used to have. Uh, let's see, can I change? Uh, yeah, alrighty. And that's what we'll go over here. So let's turn this on and see if we get into that bong of death thing. Um, I'll speed it up, of course. I'm a little worried because I didn't expect that hard drive to format uh, or, or work at all, and it did. So we may have some other kind of problem, but let's see what happens here. So I will first... Power up the edge and then power up the monitor. And the edge lights are coming on. And see, this monitor just likes to go to sleep. Let me thump it again. And come on. Oh, there we go. Active. All right. I'll turn this light off. I'll unplug the mic I'm using so we can get a better room sound, maybe see if it's gonna bong here. Sure. Now it used to do this, that the starting up would glitch once. And I have a flashing green light on the edge. I think that was the glitch. So let's see if it goes into the bong loop. Oh, well, how about that? We are in startup. So I never got this far, so I think I fixed it. I can't really explain why formatting the drive would make a, a change like that, but uh, looks like I have a working TiVo Edge here now to uh, play with. So I'll screw it all back together. <laughs> That's really weird. And it's all back together, snapped right together, easier to put together than <laughs> take apart, actually. And it's uh, still working over there. And uh, interesting, this, this one uh, game bit screw on the left side that didn't fall out, like it was a captured screw. Maybe it is a captured screw, um, but uh, I just screwed it back in. Uh, honestly, these game bit drivers, I'm not sure they, they really are the thing for these perhaps DVD tam tamper-proof uh, screws. They work, but the, the contact isn't as good as it should be. Also, funny thing about these, this is, my, as I said, it's my second order, and Amazon thought they lost this order. They still did, and they refunded me my money, so ultimately I got these for free. So, thanks, Jeff. Um, and uh, I guess I'll, I, I wrote Kate. I said it's fixed. Does she want it back? We'll see what uh, she says. It'll be interesting to see if there are 
uh, hard disk errors that show up in use uh, th that was causing the problem. I still don't quite can't quite figure it out that maybe there was a bad format on the drive or something uh, that I have resolved. Uh, so we'll see if this turns out to be trouble free or or there's some kind of latent problem that only shows up when you start putting uh, recordings on it. But you know this thing's uh, working here. We can kind of go through the screens and here I'll go to enter and get the uh, pro mode. You know. So um, I'm going to call it fixed. Uh, so thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, and we'll see you on the next one.